Hello everyone, how is it going? I am your host Mastan and you are watching Mass Studies. So today in this video, I am going to tell you about the fact that the scientists have found the planet X. Not exactly though, but what, what I mean here is uh, they have found some evidence or some hypothetical virtual evidence that shows that there is some planet X in our solar system. So follow my video without skipping such that you will get a total knowledge regarding the planet X. I hope you will enjoy this video. If you are not new to my channel, please subscribe my channel and don't forget to hit the like button. And if you have anything to say, please tell me your valuable comments in the comment section. Okay guys, let's go into the video now. Following the discovery of Neptune in 1846, there was considerable speculation that another planet might exist beyond its orbit. The best known of these theories predicted the existence of a distant planet that was influencing the orbits of Uranus and Neptune. After extensive calculations, Perseal Lowell predicted the possible orbit and location of the hypothetical trans-Neptunian planet and began an extensive research for it in 1906. He called the hypothetical object planet X a name previously used by Gabriel Dallet. Clyde Tombaugh continued Lowell's search and in 1930 discovered Pluto, but it was soon determined to be too small to qualify as Lowell's planet X. After Voyager 2's flyby of Neptune in 1989, the difference between Uranus predicted and observed orbit was determined to have been due to the use of a previously inaccurate mass of Neptune. Attempts to detect planets beyond Neptune by indirect means such as orbital perturbation date back to before the discovery of Pluto. Among the first was George Forbes who postulated the existence of two trans-Neptunian planets in 1880. One would have an average distance from the Sun or semi-major axis of 100 astronomical units, 100 times that of the Earth. The second would have a semi-major axis of 300 astronomical units. His work is considered similar to more recent Planet 9 theories, in that the planets would be responsible for a clustering of the orbits of several objects. In the case of the aphelion distance of periodic comets, similar to that of the Jupiter family comets. In January 2015, Caltech astronomers have found mathematical evidence suggesting there may be a planet X deep in the solar system. This hypothetical Neptune-sized planet orbits around Sun in a highly elongated orbit far beyond Pluto. The object, which the researchers have nicknamed Planet 9, could have a mass about 10 times that of Earth and orbit about 20 times farther from the Sun on average than Neptune. It may take 10,000 and 20,000 Earth years to make one full orbit around the Sun. The announcement does not mean there is a new planet in our solar system. The existence of this distance world is only theoretical at this point and no direct observation of the object nicknamed Planet 9 have been made. The mathematical prediction of a planet could explain the unique orbits of some smaller objects in the Kuiper belt, a distance region of icy debris that extends far beyond the orbit of Neptune. Astronomers are now searching for the predicted planet. The Caltech astronomers Constantin Batigin and Mike Brown announced new research that provides evidence of a gain planet tracing an unusual elongated orbit in the outer solar system. The Caltech astronomers Constantin Batigin and Mike Brown announced new research that provides evidence of a gain planet tracing an unusual elongated orbit in the outer solar system. The prediction is based on detailed mathematical modeling and computer simulations, not direct observation. This large object could explain the unique orbits of at least five smaller objects discovered in the distant Kuiper belt. This is not, however, the detection or discovery of a new planet. It's too early to say with certainty there's a so-called planet X. What the astronomers seeing is an early prediction based on modeling from limited observations. 
It's the start of a process that could lead to an exciting result. Astronomers studying the Kuiper belt have noticed some of the dwarf planets and other small icy objects tend to follow orbits that cluster together. By analyzing these orbits, the Caltech team predicted the possibility that a large previously undiscovered planet may be hiding far beyond Pluto. They estimated the gravity of the potential planet might explain the unusual orbits of those Kuiper objects. What's next? Astronomers including Batigin and Brown will begin using the world's most powerful telescopes to search for the object in its predicted orbit. Any object that far away from the sun will be very faint and hard to detect. But astronomers calculate that it should be possible to see it using existing telescopes. If you enjoyed this video, please hit the like button and don't forget to subscribe my channels for more videos. Thank you.